Hey folks, uh, Mr. Mathlog here, and this is uh, on problem solving. This is wrapping up uh, chapter one here. So it's just, uh, uh, we're going to be doing some addition and subtraction with some word problems here. So common core strands given there and our essential questions given there. So we're going to draw some diagrams here. So, all right. So the Gilroy, uh, Gilroy Garlic Festival um, is this festival in Gilroy, California. And so in 2013, the attendance was 102,006. 102,006. Okay, in 2012, the attendance was 98,657. How many more people attended the Garlic Festival in 2013? So, um, and I just moved it up right there. So, um, uh, is this going to be an addition problem or subtraction problem? So, let's go ahead and read the problem. What do we need to find out? So, we need to find out um, uh, some information about how many people, how many more people attended uh, the Garlic Festival in 2013. So, uh, we're going to uh, write what we need to find out. And then I'll come over to here, this one here. So, we need to find out um, uh, how many more people attended in 2013. So, blank people attended in 2013 and blank people attended in 2012. Okay, so I'm going to put this number, 102,006 in the first one and then 98,657 in the second one. Okay, so that's what goes right there. And then uh, I'm over here now, so how will we use this information? What strategy can we use? Okay, so I'm going to uh, introduce, um, uh, we can draw a diagram and we're going to use a bar model. So, we're going to uh, build a diagram here. Um, so, uh, so let's let's go ahead and solve this problem. This is called a bar model here. Uh, it's just uh, one method. Of, we're going to be seeing several methods as we explore our way through uh, our textbook here. So this is just one method. This is called a bar method right here. Okay, and then um, so this this box right here looks like it's representing the attendance in 2013, and this box right here is representing the attendance in in uh, 2012. Okay, and so this right here looks like this is going to be uh, my equal sign right here. My equal sign is going to be, we're going to go ahead and subtract these numbers because they want to know how many more, um, uh, how many more people were in 2013 than in 2012. Okay, so the box is the, uh, in this bar model represents the number of people who attended both festivals in, in both years right there. And the bracket uh, represents how many more attended in 2013. So, so this little bracket right here. So this answer right here is going to be how many more attended right there. Okay. And then, uh, so this bar model can help us understand uh, that we are going to compare these two quantities. So we're going to end up subtracting these right here. So let's go ahead and subtract right here. So here we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and subtract the ones. I can't do six minus seven. So I'm going to borrow from this zero, but I can't because I can't. So I'm going to borrow from that. I can't there. So I'm going to borrow from this two right here, make it a one, and I'm going to change this uh, zero to a ten. Then I'm going to borrow from the ten and make it a nine to change this zero to a ten. And then I'm going to borrow from this 10 and make it a 9 and change that uh, 6 to a 16, okay? So, here we go. So, I borrowed from the 2 and uh, way over here, changed it to a 1, and then that's going to change this not to a 0. It's going to become a 10, okay? And then I'm going to take away, I'm going to borrow from this 10, make it a 9, and that's going to make this 0 right here a 10, okay? So, here we go. All right, so I had to kind of do it as slant to fit it in right there. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and borrow from this blue 10 right here, uh, make it a 9, and then change this to a 16 right there. How's that? Does that make sense? Okay, now I can do 16 minus 7. 16 minus 7 is 9. Okay, all right, so um, uh, now I can do this 9 right here minus this 5 right here. So 9 minus 5 is 4, okay? And I can do this 9 right here minus this 6. 9 minus 6 is going to get me uh, 3. Okay, now uh, this 1 minus 8. I can't do 1 minus 8. So i got to borrow from, I'm going to borrow from, since I'm, I'm just ending right here, I'm going to borrow from this 10, this 10 right here, and make it a 9, and change this 1 to a what? What am I going to change that to? To an 11. Okay, so uh, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and... Um, uh, what did I do there? Okay, so there we go. So uh, I changed uh, this 10 right here to a 9 and changed this 1 to an 11. Now I can do 11 minus 8 right there. Okay, 11 minus 8 is 3 right there. Okay, so I'm done because I'm left with 9 minus 9. So let's answer the question. So 
How many more people? There were 3,349 more people that attended the festival in 2013 than in 2012. Okay? Well, the garlic festival, they make all kinds of things in garlic. Um, they make garlic ice cream. They make garlic soda. They make garlic uh, hamburgers, garlic everything. Um, er anything you eat and or drink, they make garlic things out of. So it's, it's a pretty big festival. I hear about it on TV all the time. All right, let's try another one here. One day, James counted 5,219 cars passing by on a busy corner. Danny uh, counted 860 uh, more on another corner. So how many cars did Danny count? Okay, so what we're going to do is read the problem. And so what do we need to find out? Well, we need to find out um, uh, how many, the number of cars that Danny counted right here. What information are we going to use? We're going to use the fact that James counted 5,219 cars and Danny counted 860 more. Okay, so what we're going to do is how are we going to use this information? We're going to, I'm going to go ahead and draw another bar diagram to help us find how many cars. So, um, I, again, this bar diagram is just another method. Um, um, if, you, if you were in my class and you recognized what math to do, whether it's addition or subtraction, I would be tickled with that, you guys. So this one, hopefully you recognize it's an addition problem. So we're going to go ahead and add. Um, 9 plus 0 is 9. So I'll put a 9 down here. 1 plus 6 is 7. I'll put a 7 in front of the 9. 2 plus uh, 8 is 10. So I'll put a 0 here and carry the 1 up here. And then the, so 1 plus 5 is 6. Okay, so 6,079. Oops, I forgot to put a comma right there. So 6,079. So, okay, so Dan, oh, I got it right there. So Danny counted 6,079 cars. So is this answer reasonable and explain how you know? Okay, well, let's look at this number right here, what James counted. James counted 5,219 cars. Is that number close to uh, 5,000 or 6,000? Which number is it closer to? It's closer to 5,000. Is 860 closer to zero or is it closer to 1,000? This one's closer to 1,000. So this one's closer to 5,000. This one's closer to 1,000. So by adding 5,000 plus 1,000, um, 5,000 plus 1,000 is 6,000. And so we got 6,079. So that's a reasonable answer for that one right there. Okay. So don't let those uh, bar models scare you. Just recognize if you think you're going to, uh, if, if it's asking to um, uh, add and or subtract. So, uh, and then, and then show your appropriate math. I'm sure your teacher would be tickled. I would be. Okay, take care, you guys, and if you find these uh, videos helpful, of course, uh, press like or, or even subscribe. Take care.